Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Jeffrey Epstein Show. I'm your host, Bobby Capucci, and this is Daily Drop number 48. Well, we have had a pretty exciting few days, huh, folks? We have pre- we've had a lot of different things come out, a lot of information to follow. And look, we're putting it all on the record. That's what we're doing here. We're putting it all on the record so that we can follow the, the case as it happens. And we have a few more articles tonight to, to do just that. One of the articles is uh, definitely one that's pretty interesting in our, in our whole entire Prince Andrew thread. The whole entire thing with Andrew and how he put on this face like he was, you know, this good guy and he didn't have any idea what Epstein was up to, blah, 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 blah. Well, it turns out now that it's come out that not only was he in those other residences that we've spoken of, but he was also in New Mexico. So we have an article about that, which is a very interesting article with some pretty good facts. Um, Also, we have a new accuser who just came out and she says that she was supposedly almost trafficked to a, a, a high power Hollywood producer that she avoided it somehow. I didn't read the article yet, so we'll see that together. And then the third article, which I think is pretty pretty awesome considering I've been talking about this same comparison is the way the federal government went about going after Roger Stone and the way they handled Jeffrey Epstein. And again, like I say, folks, on this show, you got to suspend your political bias. We're not playing that game here. We're not going after people because they're Republicans or Democrats or any of that nonsense. We're going after people that were involved in this case, people that were named in court documents, credibly accused people are who we're chasing down in this case. We're not going to get the waters muddied. We're not going to be thrown off the scent. We're not going to let this information chase us away. We're not going to let any of that occur on this show. So if you're tuning in and you you you're part of this whole tribalism nonsense just suspend it for the the duration of the show and look at the end of the day folks really if you want that you can turn on any single one of these news channels and get all the divisive news you want but i'm not going to do that here and i think it's important that we have comparisons and even when it's people that we might not agree with politically we shouldn't be cheering the federal government doing what they did to roger stone we shouldn't cheer that that's just it's not something that is it's not it's not acceptable in my opinion now as far as the case against him hey look the courts decided what they decided i'm not saying that anything about the the court's rulings what i'm saying is the way the fbi went about that that case how they tipped off cnn before they raided his house etc cetera, etc cetera. it's unacceptable in america we we don't we don't live in a police state none of us deserve that i wouldn't want that for me you or any of my worst enemies unless of course there were a, a danger to society and that the swat team needed to be used but you shouldn't be doing that to intimidate people you shouldn't be pulling 66 year old men and their wives out of bed at the 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 point of a you know an M16 i maybe maybe i'm wrong maybe that maybe that's how some people think things should happen in this country but i do not believe so all right so we're going to jump into our first article here all right it's from the sun and it's the one about prince andrew and his visit to new mexico the zorro ranch the headline is royal visit prince andrew was Given young neurosurgeon by Jeffrey Epstein during New Mexico ranch visit, says former housekeeper. Hmm. Given? Sounds pretty juicy. What is? What could that possibly mean? Another another trafficked woman for Epstein, huh? Boy, this guy is. It's looking like he's the most prolific sex offender maybe in history. An ex-employee at Epstein's sprawling ranch in New Mexico has made bombshell allegations that the underfire Duke spent three days at the estate with the beautiful medic. Deirdre Stratton was a housekeeper at the Zorro Ranch when she claims Andrew visited alone in 2001 and says the young woman was paid by Epstein, according to the mail. See, I'm about a nine-hour drive from Stanley... Uh, New Mexico, where the Zorro Ranch is, and I'm really thinking about hopping in the car real soon and going to the local coffee shop and, and setting up shop and talking to the locals about who was in and out of that ranch, what other people were there, you know, what they know, because, look, there's no better way to get the news than to be on the ground yourself and getting it that way. Stratton alleges that during the visit, Andrew was kept company by an unnamed female doctor who she believes may have been on retainer from Epstein and that it was her job to entertain his guests, but that she was only guessing. Well, she's saying that so she doesn't get sued, right? She's the housekeeper. She has intimate knowledge of what's going on around those parts. And if she has to be subpoenaed, well, let's get a subpoena for her as well. 
The bombshell claims come after the Queen hauled her son to Buckingham Palace to sack him for all his royal for, from all royal duties. Well, he got grounded. What is he, Tommen? <laughs> what, what are you? You're grounded now. The prince is grounded. Her Majesty's extraordinary intervention came from after intense lobbying from Prince Charles. The Duke of York under fire after claims he betted a 17-year-old and for his friendship with billionaire U.S. pedophile Jeffrey Epstein will conduct no royal or public duties and will step back from all patronages. He has also pledged to cooperate with authorities investigating Epstein, opening him to uh, opening him up to serious criminal risk. Well, let's get that party started. All right, let's get him down with the authorities. Let's get them talking and let's you know let's get things moving in the proper direction. I mean, does Congress have time for that? I know they're busy and all. I know you know they got real important phone calls to talk about in the news. They have a whole bunch of gaslighting to do of the American public, but maybe just maybe. With this whole Prince Andrew situation, this ball will start start rolling downhill, and then we'll start collecting some scalps, figuratively speaking, right? Because that's really what it comes down to. At this point, these people need to suffer, they need to be punished, and they need to feel the pain that they caused to these victims. These abused girls. Despite Stratton's claims, there is no suggestion that Andrew knew she was possibly on Epstein's payroll. So what does that mean? That doesn't mean anything if he knew or he didn't know or whatever. You're the prince of, of England. You're letting some guy provide you with women and you think that's okay? Here's an idea, dude. I'm pretty sure that if you went out and you were, you were out looking for women, you'd probably be able to find some on your own. You got plenty of dough, or had plenty of dough. You could have probably got plenty of girls. Bring you Go back to Monaco like we saw in those pictures, you dancing with, with, that, that, with that blonde lady. You could have got any girl you wanted. This is about power. This is about you putting your thumb over somebody and exerting power just because you can, because you're rich, and you feel like people are your playthings. People are less than you. Is that about sum it up there, Prince? The, f- the former housekeeper added, at the time, Jeffrey had this. She supposedly was a neurosurgeon, quite young, beautiful, young and brilliant, and she stayed in the home with him. At one point, we had all these different teas, and you could pick the teas that you wanted, and she asked me to find one that would make Andrew horny. I'm guessing she understood her job was to entertain him because I guess the fear, I don't know, the fear would be that Andrew would say, no, I don't really find her that attractive. He would tell Jeffrey that, and then she would be on the ropes. What kind of sick operation are you running here? I mean, on the ropes, she'd be scared because she doesn't want to have sex with some uh, dumpy, dullard-ass prince? Come on, give me a break, all right? Enough. And the housekeeper, now it's just coming out? Like I said, if I was ever involved, uh, ever seen any of this kind of uh, this nonsense, or someone came to me with this sort of claim, he just mums the word. I'd be on every rooftop running my fat yap for everyone to hear, because I have news for you. This stuff is not okay. This is not the stuff that you look the other way about. This is not your boy coming home, you know, telling you, "Oh, bro, I had this weekend. We got so loaded, and we were doing blow." And oh, okay, great, whatever, cool. I'm glad you had a good time. I, well, this, on the other hand, this is absolutely disgusting. This is just beyond the pale. This defies the imagination for sickness. Sex was all they thought about. I mean, I know for sure that Jeffrey would ideally like three massages a day. Massages being in air quotes. I don't see how his guests wouldn't know that. Look, we all know what massage means. Massage meant sex for these people. All right, it's code word. We know what they were talking about. We know that Glenn Dubin said the same thing, and this other, this this Andrew guy. You know, come on, they're all they're all the same person, just with different faces. She also gave me an anecdote, uh, an anecdote of the Duke insisting on making himself breakfast, but burning his bacon and settling instead for croissants and green tea. So this dullard can't even cook bacon on his own. That's how much he's been pa- he's been pampered his whole life. All right. Dude can't even make bacon, and he thought he was going to outwit all the public and the FBI and everybody's lawyers, and bro, sit down. You're busted. The, the jig is up. You're, you're, going, you're, you're in big trouble. You're going to be the most disgraced prince in, in modern history, probably, and guess what? You deserve it. Stratton said Andrew stayed in a three-bedroom lodge at the ranch during his stay. There is no suggestion that the woman Andrew allegedly spent time with was underage. 
Prince Andrew will no longer receive his 249,000 pound sovereign grant allowance because that funds that fund expenses for his official duties such as travel, but he will receive his income from the queen's private funds. Oh, so you know, the queen's still going to be breaking him off. Mummy, may I have my allowance, mummy? Her Majesty, 93, was seen at a function just 24 minutes after the palace released the Prince Andrew's bombshell statement on stepping down. It followed days of media scrutiny after his attempts to defend himself in Saturday's disastrous Newsnight interview were derided. A royal source said the Queen was privately very disappointed with Prince Andrew despite the public efforts to rally around. It's wrong to think that she just accepted his version of events, that the interview had gone well and there was nothing to worry about. Very disappointed. Meanwhile, Epstein victim Maria Farmer said today that the pedophile socialite pal Ghislaine Maxwell would recruit girls from New York Central Park for her master. All right, and for those of you who are not familiar with Central Park, I am familiar with it. It is a sprawling park in the middle of Manhattan, and there are a ton of girls at this park, a ton of people in general, but a ton of young girls. And it would be an easy poaching ground for these sick people. Show up, you flashy car, you got this flashy pad, you got all this dough. Hey, you want to make 200 bucks to do a massage? Oh yeah, that sounds like a great plan. Hey Susan, we're going to go over to so-and-so's. You get there and you get molested? I was with her sometimes and she would say, stop the car. She would dash out and get a child. Maxwell and Prince Andrew deny all allegations of wrongdoing. Stop the car, she would dash out and get a child. So that's like, you know, I guess like for people like us, you know, oh, hey, stop the car, let me hit this fruit stand real quick and let me grab some, you know, some oranges and some bananas and some of these fresh strawberries. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. I guess these six, these six sons of bitches, they stop the car and they look for children to grab. Andrew's financial backers are also now cutting ties, with the scandal hit royal as five multi-million pound businesses have withdrawn from his pet charity project. Banking giant Standard Chartered and Advertising Week Europe are the latest to say they will no longer be a partner of his business startup project at Pitch Palace. Oh my. Oh my. Prince Andrew, you can't hide behind mummy's skirts for much longer. You're in trouble, buddy. You're going to be answering some questions, and you're going to be answering some real tough questions. And I, you know, I'll tell you what, you better be ready, because they're about to bring the thunder. All right, this next article is from the Daily Beast, and the headline is, Epstein Accuser Says He Tried to Traffic Her to Famous Hollywood Producer. Oh, that sounds promising. Let me take a stab at who that Hollywood producer might have been. I'm going to go with Harvey Weinstein, all right? I haven't read the article yet. I don't know anything about any of this stuff. Just just got the just was seen the article, the headline, and decided this was one we're gonna read tonight. And let's see what they say. Another Jeffrey Epstein accuser is suing the convicted sex offender's estate, accusing the disgraced financier of trafficking her around the world, including to a well known Hollywood producer. In a suit filed Thursday, Tila Davies claimed she was introduced to Epstein as a struggling 17-year-old and lured into his and, and lured into his orbit with promises of financial support. Huh, sounds familiar. That's the same thing he's done with the rest of these girls, isn't it? More often than two years, the suit claim for more than two years, the suit claims, Epstein assaulted her and trafficked her to his homes in New York, New Mexico, France, and other locations. Wow. I was the perfect victim. I was on my own and I needed help. Jeffrey Epstein preyed on me, Davies told reporters. I still have flashbacks. It still hurts. And like I said, I am still scared. I am healing from this very day. I, excuse me. I am healing from this every day. So this poor girl was abused by this sick son of a bitch. Another one of uh, the same story, the same MO, and another girl who has lifelong problems now because this sick son of a bitch wasn't stopped when he should have been stopped. Because it's pl pl places like ABC wanted to keep covering this up. Because nobody took it serious. Because he was being protected. Because everybody else is too busy with all the other BS that they're being pumped full of on the news. Alright? Enough with the gaslighting. Real stories are happening, folks. There's real stuff. During this wall to -war wall coverage about Ukraine, there's actually real stories going on and real victims on this planet. Representatives of Epstein's estate did not respond to a request for comment. Epstein was awaiting trial on charges on trafficking underage girls when he was found dead in his jail cell this summer. 
Davy suit filed in the U.S. District Court for the Southern District of New York is one of at least a dozen suits filed against the disgraced millionaire's estate after his death. Davies, 34, was one of at least two dozen accusers who appeared in court when Epstein's case was dismissed this summer, which was absolutely ridiculous. I don't care that he's dead, all right? Try him in death. At the time, she made similar allegations of abuse and manipulation starting when she was 17 and added, All I'm going to say is, today is a day of power and strength. Good for you. Good for you. Hopefully, this is the first step of her getting a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of peace of mind, right? A little bit of closure on this situation. Because what she had to go through is just absolutely un- unimaginable to me. I can't imagine someone close to me dealing with something like this. I mean, can you imagine? This is just, this is beyond the pale sickness right here. Davies is being represented by Gloria Allred, ugh, who is working with several other Epstein accusers. The famed women's rights attorney announced another suit against Epstein's estate just three days ago on behalf of a woman who says Epstein and his associates plied her with gifts and assaulted her when she was 15 years old. 15 years old, folks. What is that, a sophomore in high school? A sophomore in high school. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the depravity and the sickness that must go on in your mind for this to be a thing? Allred said Monday that Davies was living on her own and working full-time to support herself when she first encountered Epstein. She said the teenager had already experienced tremendously challenging circumstances, including being homeless for a year at the age of 11. Again, this is, it's so maddening that these are the people that really have no voice, that have no one to protect them. And they reach out to somebody like ABC, a, a huge, huge, giant corporation. A giant corporation, right? Disney. Disney, for God's sakes. And they laugh at her. Ah, this is this story. Who is Jeffrey Epstein? This is BS. Look, ABC, do yourselves a favor. Do everybody a favor. Get out of the news business and focus on making shows, all right? Make some more Mandalorian shows, but stay out of the news business. You don't know what you're doing. You're doing it wrong. According to the suit, Davies was introduced to Epstein by her sister while the two were living in Los Angeles. Her sister, who was already allegedly a victim of Epstein, introduced the businessman as someone who could help Davies with her career aspirations. And we've seen this several times. Maria Farmer comes to mind. The same thing happened with her and her sister. It's just unbelievably disgusting. I, I know I keep stopping to, to push that point home, but I get so aggravated reading these articles. I get so mad to think that these people are getting away with what they're getting away with. According to the suit, Epstein followed through arranging for her to study abroad in Spain to pursue her dream of becoming a translator. It was after Davies quit her job and gave up her apartment to move to Spain that Epstein began his uh, his predation. The complaint claims he allegedly began sexually assaulting her and forcing her to massage him regularly, and Davies, with nowhere else to go, felt powerless to resist. After she returned from her semester abroad, still homeless and unemployed, Epstein allegedly continued to assault her while trafficking her, her while trafficking her to his homes around the world. He has also allegedly introduced her to his famous friends, including a well-known Hollywood producer. The producer, the complaint claims, demanded and attempted to engage in abusive sexual be- behavior. Davies narrowly escaped. Well, I'd like some more information on that. Who is the producer? How did she escape? It doesn't really go into that in this article, it doesn't look like. At the press conference Thursday, Allred provided reporters with a photo purportedly showing Epstein and Davies on a helicopter ride over the U.S. Virgin Islands. She is still just beginning to understand the impact of his pattern of manipulating sexual assault and betrayal of her trust, Allred said. The announcement of the suit came after the car crash interview with Britain's Prince Andrew, who remained friends with Epstein after he was accused of sexually abusing multiple underage girls and has been accused of assaulting one of Epstein's victims himself. The prince said in the interview that he had no recollection of meeting the accuser, but later announced plans to step back from public duties for the foreseeable future. During the press conference Monday, Allred urged Prince Andrew to cooperate with authorities in New York who are still investigating Epstein's alleged sex trafficking operation. Attorneys for Epstein's estate are currently trying to set up a compensation fund to pay his victims without having to litigate each claim. Yeah, no, we don't want that to happen. We want litigation. We want discovery in this case. 
The attorneys asked the U.S. Virgin Islands judge last week to approve the program, which they said would give victims the opportunity to obtain appropriate compensation and to be heard and treated with compassion, dignity, and respect. Attorneys for some of the accusers, however, were uneasy with the idea of handling the settlement process over to the Epstein's team. These women have already endured horrific abuse at the hands of Jeffrey Epstein and have waited many years for justice, said David Brody, an attorney for one of the accusers, according to the New York Times. To turn their personal experiences over to one person selected by Jeffrey Epstein's estate to make a binding decision, which may not be disputed, could be a process that may exasperate, exasper, exacerbate the victimization of these brave women. Oh, God. I can't even imagine... Imagine settling. If I was one of these women, women, there is no way I would settle. I would take it all the way to court because there's no way a jury's going to... You're never going to lose in front of a jury. There is zero way you're going to lose in front of a jury in this situation. I mean, there ain't a jury on the planet that isn't going to that isn't gonna see it for these girls. All right, so our next story is the one that I was talking about. It shows the comparison of the way Roger Stone was treated and the way Jeffrey Epstein was treated. Now, again... It has nothing to do with politics, folks. Remember, it has to do with the way the FBI conducts themselves and the way the federal government conducts themselves when they feel it could push their narrative or their, their, their power plays. That's really what it comes down to, really. Not even a narrative anymore. It's about power plays. And they want to, they want to show you how powerful they are, what they could do to you. So they show up with a SWAT team. And like I said, I don't think it's acceptable. I don't think what Roger Stone did warranted this whole entire SWAT team situation. The guy wasn't going anywhere. He was too well known. He was, I mean, it's just, there's a lot. So we're going to jump into this story and see what they have to say about it. All right, so the story is from creators.com. And the headline is Roger Stone, Jeffrey Epstein, and the crack up of America's leadership. Roger Stone was recently convicted in federal court on seven felony charges stemming from the since-closed Russia collusion investigation. Stone's main crime was lying to Congress about who he had or had not spoken to about Russia. By the time Stone's trial began in Washington, nobody was talking about WikiLeaks anymore. Nobody cared. Yet prosecutors continued as if it were 2017. For lying about something now irrelevant, they argued that Roger Stone should spend up to 50 years in prison the rest of his life. At the very moment prosecutors were making that case that Stone's misstatements ought to be a death penalty offense, Congressman Adam Schiff was busy lying to the rest of us about new things, some that actually matter. Schiff didn't seem worried about lying. He knows he'll never be prosecuted for it. In Washington, dishonesty is strictly a one-way offense. Yet despite the irony of all of this, Stone was convicted. Official Washington cheered. Rotten hell, they screamed on Twitter. What's interesting about the response to Stone's case, both from federal prosecutors and the conventional media, is how much harsher it was than anything that greeted convicted child molester Jeffrey Epstein. When Epstein was released from his first prison term, he hosted a dinner at his home with ABC News host George Stephanopoulos, former NBC News host Katie Couric, Chelsea Handler, Woody Allen, CBS's Charlie Rose, British British uh, Prince Andrew, and many others. Do you think Stepanopoulos would consider consider having dinner at Stone's house? Of course not. That would be immoral. FBI officials apparently agree. You'll remember what happened when Stone was arrested. Dozens of federal agents with automatic weapons, armored vehicles, and a helicopter descended on his home in a middle-class part of Fort Lauderdale and rousted the 66-year-old and his wife from bed at rifle point. Just to make sure the event inflicted maximum humiliation, the feds tipped off CNN, which was there to capture the whole thing live. That's how our government treated a man facing perjury charges. Epstein, by contrast, was accused of molesting at least 34 separate underage girls. How was he arrested? He wasn't. According to the New York Times, prosecutors called Epstein's lawyer and asked him to turn himself in, which Epstein politely did. Nobody tipped off CNN, just the opposite. Authorities tried to keep the whole thing secret to preserve Epstein's dignity. One prosecutor wrote to Epstein's longtime attorney, former Bush administration senior official Jay Lefkowitz, assuring him that to avoid the press, she could file the charge in district court in Miami, which will hopefully cut the press coverage significantly. Pretty thoughtful treatment for a child molester. Ultimately, Epstein got a plea deal and all federal charges against him were dropped. The arrangement was kept secret even from Epstein's victims so they wouldn't be able to complain or contest the agreement in court. Epstein received just 18 months, but instead of being sent to state prison, like most sex offenders in Florida, he served his term in a private wing of the Palm Beach County Stockade. 
but even that wasn't lenient enough. After just three and a half months in custody, Epstein was freed on work release, meaning that he was able to leave the grounds for 12 hours a day, six days a week. Sex offenders aren't supposed to be eligible for work release, but authorities gave it to Epstein anyway. Apparently, Stone did something worse than molesting children. He mocked the people in charge and then helped Donald Trump get elected president. For that, he is likely to die in prison. We now have heard credible allegations that NBC News covered for politically connected rapist Harvey Weinstein and ABC News covered for politically connected pedophile Jeffrey Epstein. Roger Stone, meanwhile, is headed to prison for something nobody even understands. Prosecutors have a great deal of discretion in our legal system. The media has, rightfully, near total freedom under our Constitution. But our whole system collapses once the public loses faith in its basic fairness. A huge driver behind Trump's election was the American, pe- the American people's loss of faith in our leaders and our top legal, political, financial, educational, educational, and media institutions. When rapists and pedophiles are protected as political disputes are criminalized, it's not hard to see why people are questioning the leadership of our country. Wow. It's a pretty good article. And like I said, sus- suspend your political leanings, right? We've, I've re- I just did two articles from the daily beast all right so it's not like i'm uh you know just reading from some crazy right-wing conservative nonsense but the the essence of the story is what i wanted to talk about it's it's important to understand that in this country nobody should be treated more harshly than a pedophile in my opinion so for him to get the treatment he got while someone like roger stone got treated the way he got treated it makes you wonder right Who is protecting Epstein and why? These are the questions we ask on this show. These are the questions we're trying to answer on this show. All right, folks, I will see you tomorrow for more news. And like I said, if it's if it's breaking again, we'll we'll do more than one or two shows in the day. You know, it all depends on the cycle. So if you need to get if you want to get in touch with me, you can get in touch with me at B-O-B-B-Y C-A-P-U-C-C-I at protonmail.com. That is Bobby Capucci at protonmail.com. And if you would like to support the show, there will be the GoFundMe link in the description. You could click on that and you can help us out that way. If not, and you want to help us out a different way, just share the content with your friends. The more shares, the better. All right, folks, I will talk to everybody tomorrow.